Explore more about the topics you love with Topper. Subscribe now and keep learning. The plant tissues are divided into two major categories. The meristematic tissues and the permanent tissues. We already know about the meristematic tissues. They divide throughout their lives to form new cells. Now when these new cells, they become matured, they get differentiated. So these are the differentiated cells which are formed from these new cells. Now these cells or the differentiated cells are what we call permanent tissues. So this is simply the conversion of undifferentiated young meristematic cells into the differentiated matured permanent cells and this conversion of these meristematic tissues into the permanent tissues is what we call cell differentiation. So cell differentiation is simply the transformation of undifferentiated cells into the differentiated cells. You know for example let's say like when children they become matured they get a specific job. They become either let's say a doctor, a lawyer, an engineer or maybe an artist or anything. So now they have a specific job. Now they have become differentiated from each other and this is what we call differentiation. Moving forward, let us discuss more about the permanent tissues. So permanent tissues on the basis of number of cells are divided again into two major categories. The simple permanent tissues and the complex permanent tissues. The simple permanent tissues as the name suggests they are made up of only single type of cells. These cells are structurally and functionally similar. On the other hand the complex permanent tissues are made up of more than one type of cells and these cells are structurally different but they are functionally similar. In this lesson let us focus upon the simple permanent tissues. So simple permanent tissues are also called ground tissues or the supporting tissues as these tissues form most of the bulk of the plant and they also provide it a lot of support. Moving ahead, the simple permanent tissues are further divided into three categories. The parenchyma, colenchyma and sclerenchyma. Some tricky names, right? Let us see them one by one in detail to understand them. Explore more about the topics you love with Topper. Subscribe now and keep learning.